what's up what's up what's up my fellow cancerians welcome guys i hope you're having a beautifully phenomenally blessed day thank you for joining me for a moment in becky's house of cards please like this video share this video subscribe to my channel down below set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live and today guys we are going down the rabbit hole with an energetic update i have done these before i really like them it's not going to be a long video i'm going to draw two tarot cards some oracle and then we'll get some messages from the ghetto bag super simple i don't know what's coming up so i'm going to let source say what source wants to say but i do want to thank you to all of my new viewers my returning viewers my ogs my new g's anybody that allows me your precious asset your time you guys truly are such a blessing and i'm so honored and privileged to be here and my prayer as always is that these videos any of my videos fall upon your heart in a way that reminds you to take back your power use your intuition and your discernment to make the decisions for your best journey so with that being said we won't take too much time here We'll go ahead and get into it and see what messages Source has for you, Cancer. So what messages do you have for Cancer Source, the energetic update? What do they need to know? What's coming up for them? What energetic update do you want to tell them about? Where are they at? What's happening? <laughs> what messages do you have for Cancer, the energetic update, Source? What messages do you have for Cancer, the energetic update? Energetic update. What messages do you have for cancer? Energetic update. Okay, one more. That was a weird one. Yeah, one more. Energetic update for cancer source. going on with cancer source what energetic update do you want to tell them about okay so we got ten of swords flying out just straight all right what else about this ten of swords what's going on with the energetic update with cancer source oh okay well i only wanted two but those ones fell out so let's see what we got here we have the five of coin okay and we have the high priestess or the pope s in my deck all right, so let's see what we got on the bottom here. We have the two of wands. Uh, yeah, so the two of wands here in the upright. Yeah, you guys are in a situation. Um, you have a choice. Like, I, I think here's the thing. Like, you have a choice, but you're, you're dealing with somebody or something that is very argumentative towards you. Somebody that is very hurtful towards you. Somebody that just kind of wants to see you suffer in a way like you know and, and I don't mean this in in a way of like like somebody trying to make you suffer purposefully I think that this person is suffering within internally and that has to manifest somewhere some shape or form right and so where it's the easiest place that it manifests well it manifests to you because you're the one that's around this person and I think Source wants you to realize, like, you don't have to stay stuck in a situation that's not serving you. But at the same time, it's like you, you, you know, you're scared to make a choice, even though both options look good. It's like you're scared to make a choice. And it's like right now you're going through something that's destabilizing with this five of coins here. It's like falling apart because of this energy. It's it has to change. It has to change. Like You can't stay in a situation that's not serving you. And the situation will eventually evolve or it will de-evolve. And in this situation, I think something happened where it went to de-evolution rather than evolving into a higher vibrational frequency. And so now you have low frequency energy that's just going lower and lower and lower. And you have the option, like, like, that's the thing is that you have the option to get out of it. Like you can choose to move one way or another. It's not something that you're bound to, you're stuck to, and you're trying to use your intuition to see what's best for you. And I think eventually, like, you're going to understand you're getting some downloads, but your intuition is based on whatever is happening. Like, I want you to understand that right now you are really basing what it is that you're seeing with your eyes I think you're not fighting anymore like this is conflicting sides here and it's like you're not really fighting anymore it's like you're kind of letting the conflict unfold and it's in that unfoldment that you're realizing 
that this person or this situation is no good for you. Um, with this Ten of Swords, it could be a person, but this could also be a job situation with the coin coming out in the center. It doesn't have to be, but whatever it is, what you know, you know your situation better than I do. This is a general reading. So what's going on here is that it's like I heard fight to the finish. Like you can stay in it and try to finish the situation and let it, you know, I also heard until death do us part. Like, like you can stay until death do you part or you can allow yourself to be guided into a higher, calmer waters. Like, what do you really want? What do you want out of this? You know, like, what are you, I heard, what are you winning? What are you winning if you stay? Really, like, what are you winning if you stay? And it's, like, scary because it's, like, you don't... I think making a decision is difficult for you, especially if this is a person. Because I think, like, with this 10 here, it's, like, a completion of a cycle, which means that you've been invested in this situation, whatever it is, for some time now. What's up, girl? What's up? Sorry, guys, my, my dog just came over and... I know, you already... She already tore up the toy. They got her a Kong and she just... Freaking didn't even last the whole day, did it? Mm -mm. No, no. She just wants love. But um, I think if this is a person, it's showing that you've been invested. You've had a lot of time and investment in that. And to change scares you. To change scares you. To, to change means that you have to try something different. And it's like you like the idea that you have options. But I think you're afraid of getting involved in something that is pointless like doesn't turn out and that's and and there's also a lot look like there's grief with this connection or the situation like you know if you let go you're going to be broken hearted and hurt and there's also this sense of seeing that it is only in your life because it's in it's immature there's there's passion here sure even if it's a job situation there's a lot of passion for it but it's not ever going to come out of this page of wands and reverse energy it's like always going to be something that is just not like it's not going to grow it's just always going to be stuck in some stagnant energy and you have a new offer you have a new offer but you're afraid to take a new offer it's interesting boom wolf instinct this is the intuition card in this deck isn't that funny and you also got i feel like i want to move this over here you also got the high the pope s here and it's like Again, trusting the process. 2-2 two, two is a very powerful number for you. 4 could also follow you guys everywhere. It doesn't have to, but I feel like that's something that's coming out very strongly here. But sort of saying, like, keep using your intuition to see this situation. So something triggered you to actually start really viewing this from a different place. Rather than being emotionally and mentally invested in this, it really puts you into a place of seeing, like, stepping outside of the box and seeing what's truly going on. And sort of says, keep following that because that's going to bring you into a place where you can make a decision. Yeah, shape-shifting. So this is the Aquarius card that I have in this deck. So you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius. You don't have to be, though. Like, I just feel like I need to say that for some of you guys. It's just confirmation. But clouds and shape-shifting talks about, it's time for you to switch up the way that you look. Like, your outer appearances, remembering all the while who you are within and allowing your appearances to shift in a way that like makes you feel good about yourself. So maybe getting a haircut, maybe going out and buying a new shirt, wearing it, you know, buying some new clothes, wearing those, getting some new makeup, getting your hair done, you know, getting getting your nails done, getting your your toes done. Shoot, for some of the guys out there getting your eyebrows done, I hear that's a thing. So, you know, whatever makes you feel good, go and do that, you know, because that's going to help you stay in that intuitive knowing because it's like the higher your vibration your internal vibration is the better it is that you're able to make and discern the life around you and i feel like this is the energy that you're in right now absolutely you're letting everything kind of unfold which is why you're not focusing on the decision right now it's like more or less let me just let things unfold and see what's the truth coming towards me in the situation so your energy update is yeah you're definitely dealing with something that's difficult cancer um but I think overall, like, you're definitely going to come up out of this in a in a much better place than where you were. Yeah, let go of control and enjoy the ride. Yeah, I feel like for a long time, maybe you tried to control the outcome of whatever this is that you're in. And it's more or less like just letting go of that control and letting things, again, unfold. Like, this is definite unfoldment energy and just 
you know, realizing that whatever it is that's going on in your life right now is happening for you and not to you. And sometimes that's hard. Woo! Okay, what did I say? I thought this was a person. And, but for some of you guys, it could be a job, but whatever it is, it's, it's an energetic vampire. They're sucking you dry. Like they suck your energy dry. Like they, they feed off of your energy. And I, again, like I said, I feel like this is subconscious fighting here. So when they cause a lot of drama and upset in your life, it's because, um, they're dealing internally with a lot of upset and pain. And so, yeah, and this is bringing you sexual healing. Whatever this is, so again, with that, that page of wands in the reverse over there showing definite, like, immature sexual energy, um, I feel like that's, if this is a person, you're dealing with someone who relies on sex to get them what they want in life, and that is an energy that is energetic vampire energy, right? And and you letting go of control and seeing that for what it is, I think that's going to bring you deep sexual healing and realizing that you deserve something that's better than that. Like, you don't... You don't deserve to be in a situation that is causing a lot of strife and anxiety just because you feel committed to it or feel like you owe this person something. At the end of the day, a lot of energetic vampires will rely on your softer side like that, the compassion that you have for other people saying, oh, well, you know what? I wouldn't be in this situation if it weren't for you doing this or something like they make you feel guilty for being with them. All the while, just so that they can break you down so that you can do exactly what they want you to do. Like, that's not fair. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, it's not... Why is that fair? How is that fair? Like, it's not. It's just... It's a real upset in energy, and it's not balanced at all. And that's why there's a lot of emotional upset and anguish and fighting and... But, you know, Cancer, you guys are definitely, you can be the, the Popus energy that's Cancerian and Piscean energy. So, you guys are ruled by the Ajna Chakra, which is your third eye. You guys are very intuitive when you allow yourselves to be intuitive. But um, the only thing that I have for you, yeah, so there's something, like this fell out when I picked up the deck. There's something that's coming in that's more stable. Uh, maybe a business partnership or this could be love coming in, but it does not have to be. It's just going to, this could be a friendship. This could be somebody who just cares about you so deeply. And it's like, you have to, I know you don't want to focus on the decision, but eventually you're going to have to make a decision. Like you, you're going to have to make a decision. You can't just stay in this. Let me just keep watching and hope one day that this person or the situation is going to change. Like they're just saying like, it's not going to change because this, this is this, situation whatever it is or whoever it is right okay they're an energetic vampire they're used to you giving them their your energy and that's the only reason why this person sticks around in your life that's why they'll never break up they'll never leave they'll never fire you they'll never do anything and you'll never get promoted if it is a job like right whatever it is it's like you're going to stay in this situation because this person knows how to feed on or the situation knows how to feed on your your weaker points and and that's what is hard for you because you're so compassionate caring and loving so just remember eventually you're going to have to make a decision eventually you're going to have to look at the decision and do something for yourself okay this is what i have for you cancer i hope that this helps it's actually a beautiful reading overall you're coming up into a, a strong point in your life so just allow yourself to overcome those boundaries that maybe you've set up for yourself not realizing okay Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow Cancerians, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet each other next time, peace out. I love y'all. Bye.